with our pay-per-view dripped in blood coming in very, very soon, we get set for another great night of DCW action. Thank you all for joining us here in Duke's Championship Wrestling, and it's time to get ready for the first match of the day. So here we go. guys Cho that Shane is a great great Hulu. talent here in Duke's Championship Wrestling have, his, have not been getting a lot of opportunities lately but he is always willing to step up to the challenge and he is getting ready for one very big challenge Dallas King is no stranger to competition and he's been feeling as though he has not been getting a lot of that. So he is wondering why he's even in this match as he had talked to the general manager earlier today who had scheduled this match. So now Dallas King has to face Shaoshang Hu in a one-on-one -on -one matchup that he feels is a great disrespect to him. Thank you all once again for joining us here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. If you like what you see here, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell for all notifications. And as always, leave a comment because we love comments. And then smash that like button. And uh, don't forget to always, always be respectful. So Dallas King is now in the ring. And he didn't come alone. And Xiao Shang Hu really looking at the numbers game here as we get set for this one-on-one -on -one matchup. The bell sounds and here we go. Dallas King with a beautiful neck break right from the jump. Ooh, and he just rubs his arm all over the face of Chao Shang Hu who is really feeling the pressure and Chao Shang Hu with a big knee strike right across the face. And I think that caught Dallas King off guard. Oh, and a big back body lock by Dallas King. Shao Shang Hu is now in serious trouble here. Gets him up, big flapjack. Flapjack, and then catches him with the leg scissors, taking down Dallas King and Shao Shang Hu really not letting up here in this matchup. And Dallas King might be in a little bit of trouble. He may have underestimated his opponent here. Oh, maybe not because he now has him in the fireman's carry position and gets him with that gut buster. Dallas King can be so dangerous in these types of matchups. It's almost like he's toying with them for the majority of it. Oh, and he misses trying to go for that clothesline strike. And now Chao Sheng Hu fighting back. There's a strike across the face. Chao Sheng Hu. Off the rose, disaster game. Oh, and another backdrop by Dallas King. Dallas King cover nonchalantly. There's one and a kicker. Chao Shang Hu really trying to make him earn this spot as he gets him with a beautiful, beautiful backdrop by Dallas King. And now he's just showing off in front of the crowd here. Thank you all once again for joining us here 
for Duke's Championship Wrestling. This is the first match of the day. Chao Sheng Hu taking on Dallas King of the Enforcers in the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Now keep in mind, Dallas King does have numbers game and gets them with that beautiful spinning slant. Cover, hook of the leg. There's one, there's two, and a kick out. Chao Sheng Hu must be, must be aware of the numbers game. And I think it's really missing with his concentration, his focus. Ooh, and that knee strike right to the top of the head. And now Dallas King may be looking to end this thing. Oh, gets him up. Bump handle, gets him up. Flatliner. There's confirmed. Cover, hook of the leg. There's one. There's two. Folks, it's over. Dallas King with a big time victory. An almost easy victory for him in this matchup. Dallas King, congratulations to him here is your on that winner, big win. Big evil, well, Dallas folks, we got more action King. coming up for you here at Duke's Championship Wrestling. Make sure you stay with us, and we'll be right back. gentlemen to another edition of Duke's Championship Wrestling another episode and our general manager is in the ring and he has an announcement to make let's hear what he has to say So the women's championship and tag team titles will not be at this pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, our general manager just dropped a bombshell. The Women's Tag Team Championship and the Triple Threat uh, Undisputed Championship will both not be defended at our pay-per-view dripped in blood, but rather at War of Valkyries, a new pay-per-view that will be happening afterwards. But folks, we'll be right back with another exciting, exciting match. Folks, welcome back here at Duke's Championship Wrestling as we get ready for our next matchup. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 373 pounds, Hosequai and Elijah Matoda. Well, the Republic, the Republic. not exactly a, a tag team to really write home about, but nevertheless, they are a great Great talent here, a really good talent here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. They haven't had a whole lot of wins 
not a whole lot of luck either. So they're hoping to find some in this new debuting tag team that we're going to see here tonight. are the new tag team here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. They were just recently signed and they're looking to make a big splash here in the tag team division. Once again, thank you all for joining us here in Duke Championship Wrestling. We hope you guys are enjoying the show. And again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell for all notifications and smash that like button and leave us a comment. We love comments here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. We also want to thank WWE 2K and Team for providing the ability to bring you Duke's Championship Wrestling. It's all custom character created show. Right now in the ring is Christian and Hosawa. The referee having to go in and break that up. Ooh, and a big clothesline in the corner. And Hosawa immediately out the gate trying to show the new guys how it's done. Christian pushes him off. Now Christian with the upper hand. Ooh, slams his head on the top of that turnbuckle. Off the ropes, drop, toe hold, and elbow right to that lower back. Great tag team work by both men. Ooh, and Tyler caught with a knee. And Hosequai now taking control of the situation. You know, the Republic is one of those teams that just doesn't give a fair chance as he gets him with that belly to belly. There's a tag. And here comes his partner. But this team has not been given really a big time you know, opportunity at a tag team championship. Oh, beautiful maneuver. Artoda. And uh, these guys, for some reason, just, I don't know. It's not that they're not looking, because they're a great, they're a really, really good tag team, but they just haven't really been given an opportunity. Perhaps maybe if they win this match, that'll maybe open up some eyes to management in the back, and there's a tag. Both men, what they got planned here. Gets them up. Oh, beautiful double back up. And now Hosequai is the little man in this matchup. Tyler, they call him bad boy. He likes to get the ladies on his side. And his partner's pulling him some stuff in the corner there. And Tyler, Hosequai goes out of the ring. Now Tyler's out of the ring, and now both men are on the outside. Definitely implementing the count here. Gets him up. Fireman's carry position. He got put here. Oh my goodness! Right on the edge of the apron. Just face plants right onto there. Oh, and there's a kick to that leg. And now Hosokwai fighting back. Referee still implementing a count. Oh, and there's a shot to that leg. Oh, and a couple of boots right to the midsection. Oh, and Chris Tyler. Tyler hitting that, those steel steps. And then the shoulder knockdown. Referee's at a count of nine. He's got to get back in the ring. He's at nine now. There's a tag. Oh my goodness, it's over. It is over. Wow. What the shit? And Absolution picks up the victory. Tyler and Christian pick up the victory here in Duke's Championship Wrestling in their debut match. Kind of a weird way to win, but nevertheless, it was a win, and these guys are right now off to a great start.
and some great momentum into this division. Anyway, folks, we're getting ready for our next match. Thank you for uh, coming back. We had to cut the commercial break. But we are now back. Making his way to the ring from Kona, Hawaii, weighing in at 327 now, Haku pounds, Fonseca Haku had a match Fonseca. with Joey Lanza, in which those two men put on a fantastic match several episodes ago and we haven't really seen you know Haku Fonseca any time after that but now it's great to see him back in the ring but he's in for one heck of a fight as he gets ready for his opponent Tank Owens is a monster of a man. And he, what he makes up for brute strength is something to behold here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. Of course, he's had his dealings with Headhunter, in which uh, those two put on quite, quite a battle. But now he's taking on another big man in the form of Haku Fonseca. And Tank Owens is one of those guys you just can't really know what's, what he's thinking in his head. I mean, it could be just anything. He's so unpredictable. So anyway, Haku and Tank. One-on-one -on -one right here. Best sounds and here we go. And right out the gate, and Tank Owens stops Haku, who tried to come in with a flying forearm, and then just starts slapping him in the face. And Haku not taking that. Oh my goodness, gets Big Man up. Big Man counters. Oh, beautiful maneuver. Big DDT by Tank Owens. Gets him up. Oh my goodness. A spine buster to Haku Fonseca. And that's that brute strength we were talking about, and both these men really going to be utilizing their strengths very, very well in this matchup. And Haku right now is taking over, gets him up, suplex. Suplex on the big man, Tank Owens. And Haku right now is looking pretty good in a big lariat. Knocking down Tank Owens, and Haku is looking really good right now. There's a shot to the top of the head, there's a punch to the face. Puts him on that middle rope. Oh, what's he going to do here? Oh, beautiful guillotine. Beautiful guillotine by Haku Fonseca, who now gets the big man up. Counters again in a first D DDT. And Tank Owens is just smashing his head on that mat. Well, folks, thank you if you are just joining us here or if you've been joined us. Oh, and he's knocked to the outside. We'd like to thank you all for joining us here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. We hope you are enjoying the show. And right now in the ring is Haku Fonseca taking on Tank Owens in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And now the referee is implementing the count. It's Haku Fonseca. And Tank Owens fighting on the outside and now rolls him back into the ring. And both men are back in the ring. Oh, and a big backdrop by Tank Owens. Tank Owens gets him up. Big man slam. Cover. Hook of the leg. There's one. There's two. Folks, it's over. The big man slam out of nowhere by Tank Owens, giving him the victory, victory over Haku Fonseca. And just this 
big monstrous guy just utilizing that strength who then picks up the cover and gets the three count here is your winner the crusher tank owen well tank owens with a big time victory here in duke's championship wrestling folks we'll be right back cynthia young is on her way to the ring now and let's hear what she has to say she's got something on her mind and she didn't look happy welcome back ladies and gentlemen to duke's championship wrestling let's hear what cynthia young has to say now that she's in the ring Cynthia Young just called out Mandy James and be careful what you wish for as Mandy James music is now playing and looks like she's on the way out to the ring. Oh and there she is Mandy James who was literally destroyed by the current Women's Undisputed Champion Skiacha in a one-on-one -on -one match in the last pay-per-view in which that match lasted all of 30 seconds. Andy James running a match with Cynthia Young. Oh my, is this going to happen tonight? So 
So this match is going to happen at Drip Them Blood. Well, Cynthia Young with the final word here. It looks like this match is going to happen at Drifting Blood, but we don't know what the stipulation is. Hopefully, we'll get some type of answer for you when we return. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set for women's action here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. Making her way to the ring. Representing Evolution from Essex, Vermont, Ruth Mullins. Well, Ruth Mullins, who is uh, who's actually quite good. She's been wrestling on independent scene for about eight years and has really, really stepped her game up. And she's done very, very well for herself as she's now teaming with her partner, but in this matchup, she's just going one-on-one. -on -one. But I have a feeling that this match may not go the way she wants. That's Jade Rose, the leader of the Wolf Pack. Oh, and there they are. Mm -hmm. And here and her accompanied by, by Jade Rose. And representing Wolf Pack from Sydney, Australia. So ladies and gentlemen, what we have just learned is that this is an impromptu match with Victoria Fox and Ruth Mullins one-on-one -on -one here, but you've got to look at the X-Factors within Jade Rose and, of course, their German muscle, Andrea Orndorff. This is, this is quite the development here. And Ruth Mullins is a heck of a competitor. But Victoria Fox is just crazy. I think she's she's some type of mental case. Sometimes she, I think she might be a little bipolar. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, Victoria Fox is going one on one with Ruth Mullins here in this matchup. You gotta you gotta figure on the outside interference with the rest of the Wolf Pack. The bell is sounded and here we go. Tries to go for a clothesline. Ruth Mullins ducks it and then gets her the basement drop kick. Ruth Mullins having to try and outsmart Victoria Fox. Oh, and gets her with that reverse neck break. Tries to go for a boot to the midsection. Didn't happen. Catches her head. This is a takeover by Victoria Fox and Ruth Mullins wisely rolls out of the ring. Now she comes back in. Victoria Fox. Oh my goodness. Ruth does press and slams her head down under that mat. There's a forearm strike. And then gets her. And a beautiful neck breaker. Now don't take anything away from Victoria Fox. She is quite, quite the competitor herself, regardless of her mental state. But nevertheless. There's, a, there's an nonchalant cover. There's one and a kick out of one. 
Victoria Fox is as dangerous as they can be. She, oh my goodness! And another basement drop kick that has happened here. But this time, Victoria Fox doing that to Ruth Mullins and ducks out of the way. Gets it with that leg scissor. Oh, and Zomp's on her head. And rubs her face onto the mat. Oh, and a back elbow, and a beautiful elbow drop right to the back of the head by Ruth Mullins. Ruth Mullins gets her up. Oh. Great maneuver with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Gets her up. Pump handle, exploder suplex. And now she's being distracted. Oh, Andrea Orndorff distracting Ruth Mullins. Ruth Mullins' partner still on the opposite side. We think she still has the upper hand here. Oh, it is caught with a scoop slam. Comes off the ropes and a big jumping elbow by Victoria Fox. And Victoria Fox is hyped up now. It looks like there's a, is there a chair in the ring? Oh, and Ruth Mullins thrown over the top rope. Right onto the outside. And Victoria Fox. Now we're back into the ring. Victoria Fox with the upper hand right now. Ruth Mullins whipped into the corner. Oh, and now catches her with a back elbow. There's a strike right across the face. Oh, and throws her by the hair. And the referee wisely gets the chair out of the ring. Cover, there's one, there's two, and a kick out. I think if it hadn't have been the fact that the referee was trying to get the chair out of the ring, this match might have been over. As Ruth Mullins with another drop kick right to the back of the head. And slimming her head down. Maybe that'll knock some sense into Victoria Fox. Referee's still trying to get that chair out of the ring. Victoria Fox whips her into the corner. Oh, and a big shoulder tackle. Uh-oh, this could be it. Vintage Victoria Fox with that super kick to the corner. And another super kick to the opposite corner. Comes back again. A third super kick. Now Ruth Mullins is in serious trouble here. Victoria, she's getting set for it. Spear! Big time spear. Cover, hook of the leg. There's one, there's two. Folks, she wins it. Victoria Fox with a big win. Representing the Wolf Pack. Exactly. Ruth Mullins had a chance here, but not so much. I'm telling As you, I was just telling my wife that. Up a big I was like, man, then the you know what was happening? Right the corner. kind of shit we normally be talking about. Yeah, that's pretty much did it. Right. Well, great victory man. for Victoria Fox. So, yeah. Wolf Pack builds up more momentum. I had a chance to get pictures, but I didn't. So going what further is. and further up into the women's yeah. division as we get set now, ladies and gentlemen, for our main event match. Thank you for joining us here for Duke's Championship Wrestling. This is our main event match. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 216 pounds, Loki Matsumoto. Loki Matsumoto, probably one of the deadliest strikers here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. And lately, he has had no remorse for any of his opponents. And ladies and gentlemen, this match right here is actually for the final spot in the triple threat. Um, in the triple threat match to, to get ready for a possible number one contender for the DCW Heavyweight Championship. Now folks, we just received word that the 
heavyweight champion here in Duke's Championship Wrestling, Amir Muhammad, will be in action at our next DCW show. So, who's going up against? We don't know. But we will find out. And we will let you all in on the news. Loki Matsumoto is in the ring. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 194 pounds, K.O. Matsuda. Now, Matsuda, who also is from Japan, and these two are no strangers to each other. They have faced each other before in several matches in Japan. So to see them here in this stage here in Duke's Championship Wrestling, we should be in for one serious treat. Thank you all once again for joining us here at Duke's Championship Wrestling. We hope you are enjoying the show. This is our main event match between Masuda and Loki Matsumoto. This is a one-on-one -on -one, uh, match to determine the third competitor for the heavyweight championship's number one contendership. And that match takes place at our pay-per-view, Dripped in Blood. Now, as always, if for anybody that doesn't know, is that here in Duke's Championship Wrestling, you only get one shot. And if you lose your opportunity at a championship, to the back of the line you go. Oh, and a beautiful headlock suplex by Masuda onto Loki Matsumoto. And there's a back elbow by Loki. Oh, and Loki with a Luthes press. Some punches right to the head. And both of these men are experts at the song style that they're so used to in Japan. So to see it on this stage is a real treat for everyone. Loki Matsumoto. Thrown over the top rope, still hanging on. Oh, and a drop kick by Masuda. Great drop kick. And now both men on the outside. Referee implementing the count. Now he throws Loki Matsumoto back in the ring. Masuda with a shot. Ooh, and he takes a shot of his own. Caught the leg. Trips him up. And Masuda, what has he got planned here? Oh, and a great submission by Masuda onto Loki Matsumoto. Is Loki gonna tap here? And he's able to free himself out of it. But that had to have done some damage to Loki Matsumoto, who's able to come back with a chop and then a kick to the midsection. Gets him up, suplex. Oh, and then goes right for that arm bar. Loki Matsumoto with the arm bar on Masuda. And Masuda able to fight out of it. With some strikes right to the face. Ooh, right under the bridge of that nose. That's a good way to break that up. Billy to belly suplex. Seen a couple of those tonight. Hook of the leg. Or no hook of the leg. Already a nonchalant cover and a kick out at one. Loki Matsumoto is one of those guys that you really can't turn your back on him because he can attack and strike any point at any given time. Oh, but these two do feel seem they do seem to feel over like evenly missing a beautiful standing fence Spanish fly cover who go away there's one there's two and a kick out beautiful standing Spanish fly by Masuda onto Loki Matsumoto and I don't think even Loki seen that one coming as he gets him with a reverse hose line oh and a super kick and Masuda's got to be out. Back into that armbar. And Loki is looking for that win. Will Matsumoto get him to tap out? Oh, and Masuda was able to kick out of it with those punches to the face. Oh, and a spinning heel kick. Masuda pulls him to the center of the ring. Smart veteran move. Cur hook of the leg. There's one. There's two. And a kick out. Just got the shoulder up. Great main event match between these two Japanese stars. 
here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. Masuda, kick to the section, off the ropes, oh, and a beautiful drop kick, and then a, another drop kick, ducks the line, spinning neck breaker. And Loki Matsumoto's in serious trouble as Masuda is now, oh, fired up, and then, well, he didn't have momentum, tried to come out of it, oh, and gets him with that kick right to the back of the head. Cover, hook of the leg, there's one, there's two, and a kick out. And Loki Matsumoto, oh, and there's a shot to the misaction by Loki Matsumoto. Oh, Falcon Zero, beautiful Falcon Zero by Loki Matsumoto, this could be it. And Loki Matsumoto, looks like he's, looks like he's feeling it in his arm, trying to get that Whatever kink he has in his shoulder worked out. The lights just went out. Oh, wait a minute. Masuda behind Loki Matsumoto. Oh, and a spinning heel kick. The lights went out and all of a sudden came back on. And Masuda was on top of him with that spinning heel kick. There's one. There's two. Folks, it's over. Masuda is now going to be given that third spot. A possible opportunity at the heavyweight championship. Great match by these two men. And that beautiful standing Spanish fly by Masuda. And then that super kick by Loki Matsumoto. And then that spinning heel kick by Masuda. And then he catches him with the big. It was a lot of kicks tonight. Here is your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in Duke's Championship Wrestling. Masuda with the victory and is moving on into the Dripped and Blood pay-per-view as third man. And folks, you guys take care. Thank you so much for watching us. And don't forget, if you subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell for all notifications and smash that like button. Folks, thank you so much for joining us here in Duke's Championship Wrestling. Take care. We'll see you all next time.